Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me, Adami Malaysia. Thank you, all the leaders, for coming. Uh, my goal today is to talk to you about Adami and why we need to choose Adami and why Adami can change your life. Do you want to hear about that? Yeah. All right, so let's get started. Before we get started, I want to talk to you a little bit about myself, okay, where, where I was born and how I grew up because I think that plays a big role in why I decided to do Adami, okay? My parents were first-generation immigrants to the United States. Yes. About 35, 40 years ago, my parents moved to the States to start what? The American dream, right? To have a beautiful house, green uh, field with children playing around in the field. That child was supposed to be me, right? But we never had that house, and I never had the yard to play in, okay? But when my parents moved there, they worked very hard and very diligently. But even though they worked very hard, life didn't change much for them. Because when they moved there to the States, they were not able to speak English very well. So all they could do was work hard labor, cleaners, cleaning, dishwashing, and they saved a lot of money, right? Does that sound familiar? A lot of families, first-generation immigrants, start that way, right? But there's nothing wrong with that, okay? So they started, and then they saved money. And when they saved money, they wanted to start their own business. But, again, since they were working so hard, they still were not able to speak English. But I was born, right? And I grew up speaking English and Korean. So when my parents, my parents started businesses, they would take me to the bank. Why did they take me to the bank? Because they needed a loan, right? To get a loan, they have to speak English. But they couldn't speak English, so they sit me down. They say, okay, okay, Ji Young, we need $50,000 loan, okay? Ask about the interest, okay? When to start, how to pay, what my credit is. I said, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> Right? But I translate. I said, okay, mommy, your credit is this, okay? The interest is this, and you can start paying the premium here on this date. And he said, okay, sign, 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 get the money, start the business, right? I started this when I was in third grade, elementary school, right? So I followed my parents to the realtor, and then I looked for different places to go. Okay, we need morning business, so traffic towards the downtown, right? So we need to get this place or this place, first floor, second floor. I did all the research for my parents. And that changed my life because I thought to myself, I said, all right, when I grow up, I want to be a what? Businessman, okay? I want to be able to make lots of money. And I saw other children who were in the third grade, but they were all playing, right? But I was working, but my parents didn't pay me any money, right? <laughs> but it was really exciting. And through those uh, steps, I started to understand a little bit about business, okay? I started to understand a little bit about why does business work? And sometimes, why doesn't business work? And I, I started thinking about dreams, visions, and goals. Because everybody here today, I believe that you have a dream. I believe that you have a goal. And I want you to think back about when you were a child. Because a lot of adults lose focus of what desire is. Right? As we grow up, we start to think logically. Okay, so we start to think logically. So when we see something that we cannot have, what do we do? We just give up. We just say, of course I can't have that. All right. But let's think about a child first. Okay, so I'm a father of two. I have two healthy boys, right? And my firstborn, uh, Bryce, when he was younger, when he wants something, when we go to the market or when we go to the toy store and he really wants a toy and I say no, what happens? What happens? They cry and cry and cry. They say, no, I have to have it, and they cry. Do they care if people look at them? Do they care if other parents are like, oh, why are you crying? They don't care. Ah, they cry more, right? <laughs> because they desire that toy. They want the toy. They don't care about what people think. They don't care. All they want is the toy. That's it, right? So do you desire success as much as my son wants that toy, right? Do you desire success as much as a person who will do anything they can to, re to reach that goal? That's a question you have to ask yourself, okay? 
So I think that's the beginning of this process. Okay. So I want you to ask yourself, where are you today? Where are you today in terms of this graph? Okay. So let's look at this graph. It says active income, one, two, three, four, five, and then passive income. Many people don't know the difference between what active income is and what passive income is and what kind of income that they're making right now. So right now today in your job, if you don't go to work, will you get paid? Yes or no? No. You must go to work in order to get paid. So that's step one, right? So every single thing that we do starts with one. And one, we will consider 100% your own ability and your own efforts, okay? That's 100%, step one, okay? Everything starts with one, and what we want to do is go to five, which will be 0%, okay? So when we think about active income, our goal should be, does this income that we're getting today go from one, two, three, four? four, five, all the way to zero. And most of the time, it is no, okay? No matter how hard you work, even if you work one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, it doesn't mean that your income becomes passive. No. If you are, let's say, a driver, a taxi driver, or a grab driver, or Uber driver, whatever it may be, if you don't drive today, do you get paid? No. no. But you can buy a car, right? And you can get somebody else to work for you and get a percentage of that. So you can build towards passive income. But does that passive income really become zero? That's the question that we have to ask ourselves. Now, we have time that we have to limit to our success, okay? So when I started doing um, business with my parents and when I started thinking about this and that, I started to think about their age, my age, my future, so when I was 17 in high school, I promised myself, I said to myself, when I reach the age of 30, I want a million dollars of passive income or value in my name, right? So right now I'm 31, right? I'm 31. I started Atomy when I was 26, okay? I started Atomy when I was 26. So I've been doing Atomy for five years now. But since when I was 17, I tried my best to look for opportunities that would bring me to five, but I could not find them. So my parents told me, you have to work hard, you have to do this and that, and they told me, you must go to university, right? They told me, because if you don't go to university, then you will not be able to become successful. Did I agree with them? Mm, I'm not telling you not to go to university, <laughs> right? But I did not agree with them, okay? Why? Because we have to think about these things, okay? There's a limited time, okay? So let's look. Number one, when you want to retire, okay? When do you want to retire? All right, write that age. Me, I wanted to retire when I'm 40, right? That's, that's a ripe age for me, right? When I was 17, right? Some of you may be older, Maybe 60, 70, 80, whatever it may be, write that age down right now, okay? Write it on your note, okay? So if you want to retire when you're 60, and right now, let's say that you are 40, then how many years do you have to reach your goal? You have 20 years, okay? So for 20 years, you have to think about what am I going to do? But if you want to retire sooner, let's say you want to retire when you're 50, 40, then how many years do you have? 10 years. You can decide, and then whatever you decide, you have to find the right tool to accomplish that goal. If you want to retire in 10 years, but you're continuing to only work the 9 to 5, is that reality? No. You have to find another source of income to create that form of retirement. So what is that? What can we choose? Okay, what can we choose? So a lot of people choose A and B. Okay, what's A and what's B? Let's think about it. A lot of people say, listen, you have to go to university because when you go to university, you can get a good income. So what does it mean to go to university? I fought with my parents. I said, I don't want to go to university, right? They said, you have to go to university. I said, but I want to be a businessman. And when I go to the bank to get a loan, I didn't, ask, I didn't see them ask you for your diploma, <laughs> right? So why do I need to go to university? When I go to the bank, they ask for your credit, not your diploma, right? So to be a businessman, I just need a loan to start a business. I don't need to go to school. But my parents said, you have to go, you have to go. So I made a deal with them. I said, okay, if I don't find the job that I want, 
the business that I want to do, then I'll go to school. But since you want me to go to school, you have to pay. <laughs> right? So they agreed. Right? So they agreed, and then I went to university. And when I went to university, it happened exactly the way that I thought. Okay? So A, what is A? Getting a job. What's getting a job? Okay? Getting a job means that you need to go to a university for four years. Okay? Four years. How much money does it cost to get a job? Right? How much do you have to invest? Well, in the States, it's a lot more. But in Korea, it's a little bit less. But here, how much does university tuition cost a year? Tuition, books, housing, how much do you think it will cost? Close to $10,000 a year, right? Small, small, okay? <laughs> For me, it costs more than $30,000 a year. But average, let's say you're very smart. You got full tuition, okay? So good student, okay? Not bad student. Bad student number keeps going up, okay? <laughs> and then for two years, what do you have to do? You have to go to university and then you apply to jobs and you prepare yourself to get a good job, right? So it takes about six years. Some people, you get a master's and it takes about eight years, okay? So you get eight years, okay? $10,000, another $10,000, another $10,000. So it's $60,000 to $80,000 invested to get a good job. So how much is a good job? How much is a good job? How much do you get paid a month for a good job, do you think? 3,000 ringgit, right? 3,000 to 5,000 ringgit. But you invest this much money to get that income. Is that logical? I'm not telling you this, right? You said no, right? <laughs> so you have to think about what am I doing right now? What am I investing for what? Now, Getting a, a job is great, right? But that doesn't mean that's where you should stop. Because just with that job, in 20 years, you're not going to be able to retire. Just with that job, you're not going to be able to accomplish the dreams that you want to accomplish. If you can send your child to any school in Malaysia, where do you want to send them right now? How much is that going to cost you? Can you send them to that school with 3,000 ringgit? No. So if you could send them to the best school, you would. But what's holding you back? What's holding you back? Money. So let's solve that today, okay? So this is A. So when you do this continuously, you will understand one day, 10 years down the road, 15 years down the road, when you turn maybe 40, oh no, what have I been doing with my life? I've only been working for my boss and I haven't been making anything for myself. You realize that. And when you realize that, you choose B. What is B? It says sales, right? So what is B? Sales. So what's the difference between A and B? Okay. B, when we talk about sales, we're talking about you are now in charge of making extra income. You can be selling cars. You can be selling insurance. You can be doing anything you want. But you are a moving business, right? So anytime that you are free from A, you can use the rest of your time with B. And you can make side income. So what does that look like? What does B look like? That means that you have maybe eight hours a day if you're a full-time B in sales, okay? So if you're in sales eight hours a day, how much time can you actually invest in each individual? It takes about two hours to meet one person and to move to the next location, right? So if you only have eight hours, how many people can you meet each day? You can only meet four, right? You can only meet four individuals. And every single person that you meet, do they buy your product? No. So even if your success rate is 100%, your income ceiling is at four, how do I understand this? How do I know this? Because when I was 16, my parents told me I always work for myself. Starting from grade school, I would, buy, I would buy storage units, and then I would go to the flea market, and I'd sell in junior high, right? And then I would sell, buy, sell, buy, and I would do that, and I'd make extra income. So I made $300, $500 a weekend, no problem, right? And my, but my parents told me, they said, listen, you always work for yourself, so you need to work for somebody, to understand what it feels like to be an employee. I said, okay. So my first job when I was 16, legally in the States, you can start working when you're 16, right? When I was 16, my first job was card salesman, 
right? I, I went into a credit card company to sell cards, right? That was my first job. So I did sales. And when I was 16, I understood real quickly what? Ah, no matter how hard I work, the income ceiling is already there. So I didn't like it because I made less money than selling my flea market products, right? So I told my parents, I said, listen, after four months, I quit. I said, this isn't for me. Because why? Because this. Eight hours a day, four people a day, if my success is 100%, income is already, I can already see it. I would make less than $10,000 a month. I didn't want it. I wanted to make more. So what's the issue here? The issue here is I did this more than 15 years ago. Okay, 15 years ago, you did not have smartphones. You did not have iPhones, right? You didn't have smartphones. So that means that information was not readily available to you, right? What happened to the taxi market after Uber and Grab? What happens? Go down, 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 down. Why? Because consumers now are in control. We have information. We know how much it costs to go from A to B. Long time ago, only locals know. But now Uber, Grab already decides for you how much the price is. Done. Same thing. Consumers now know how much your insurance plan is, how much your used car is, how much you are profiting from the sale. Consumers know now. So long time ago, if you're selling a product and you're making 30% from the product sale, they, if you give them a few samples, they're very happy. They say, oh, thank you for the sample. Right? Right? But nowadays, if you don't give them sample, what happens? You made 30% but no sample. <laughs> right? Because now they understand and know how much that you made. So going the sales route is now more difficult. Because consumers have the edge. They know how much you're selling the product for. So that field is becoming harder and harder. So what do you need to choose is the question, right? You have so many different options, but you have to choose the option that's going to bring you from one to five. So what is that? How can you get to five? In order to get to five, I had to learn the hard way, right? So when I was helping my parents, I helped them with all their businesses. And one day when I was in uh, university, I got a phone call. My mom said, uh, Jew, you have to buy a lawyer. I said, why? Buying a lawyer is not good, okay? <laughs> she said, we have to get a lawyer. I said, why? Because we have to file for bankruptcy. I said, what? What happened? So I looked into the situation, and my parents, they worked so hard, very, very diligent. They woke up before the sun came up, right? And they came home after midnight every night. Work, 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 work. Who has parents like that, right? Working hard all the time. But what was the result? Bankruptcy. Is that good? No, it was terrible. But I looked at the situation. And I said, why did this happen? And after I filed bankruptcy and I did everything for them, I went to uh, the gas stations. You know, in the States, everything is self. You have to fill it up yourself. So every time I saw somebody driving a very nice car, I started to ask them, what do you do, sir? What do you do, ma'am? I'm not talking about Mercedes or BMW. To me, that was just a average car. Everybody can drive Mercedes and BMW if you work hard. But not everybody can drive Ferraris and Bentleys and Rolls Royces. That's very, very expensive, right? It's the cost of a house. You're driving around a house, right? <laughs> but every person that I talked to who had Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and um, Bentleys, they don't have just one car. They have like five cars, right? And I asked them, what do you do, sir? 99.9, no, 100% told me that they are a business owner, 100%. And they told me, they said, if you want to become successful, you must work with other people and their abilities and their skills need to become your abilities and your skills. But at that age, I did not understand. I said, huh? Okay. Because our conversation time is limited to 15 to 30 seconds, right? I can't stand there for five minutes holding him, right? So after he fills up, he leaves, right? So I didn't understand what that meant. But I started to realize what that meant because of my experience with my parents, filing for bankruptcy, reading more books, and talking to people who had success. So that's how my life changed. 
through those hardships, I started to understand and realize what it is that I need to become a part of. And in order to become a part of something that is successful, that is good, then you have to choose C. And what is C? Right? C is changing consumer habit. We have to understand what that means. What does it mean to change consumer habit? A lot of people do not understand what this means. Okay? But if you cannot change consumer habit, you will never become successful. It will only be for an instant and you'll fall back down. So let me explain this to you. Okay? Consumer habit and how it works. If I say to you, hamburger, what Business, what company comes to your mind? McDonald's. Did you study McDonald's? Did you take McDonald's 101? No, but when you see a hamburger, what do you think? Okay. If you see coffee, what do you think? Starbucks. Did you study Starbucks? No. But your mind is already wired because that company already changed your consuming habit. So if you see two stores, store one, Starbucks, store two, Jewbox, where are you going to go? Are you going to go to Starbucks or Jewbox? See, that's why I will fail. Because I cannot change your consuming habit. So what changes consumer habit? Okay. How does consumer habit change? Consumer habit is something that is very, very, very difficult to change. It's nearly impossible. So think about this. Everybody, you drink milk, right? Everybody drinks milk, yes? Okay, let's say you go to the market, you're talking on the phone. When you're talking on the phone, you don't, you don't realize what you're doing, right? Say you're talking on the phone, in your head, you are at the store to buy milk. That's it, okay? So before you even know it, you're already at the register paying for your milk. What milk did you put into your cart without even thinking? What milk? The milk you always drink, Right? That's consumer habit. That's how scary it is. So before even realizing what you chose, when you're at the register, you're already paying for the milk you used to drink anyways. So how do you change that? If I am a milk CEO, I have a milk company, and I want you all to be my milk consumers, how will I change your consuming habit? You must give them value. Without giving individuals value, you will never maintain business with them. They will always leave. That is the problem sales has had. In sales, we do not use the term absolute price, absolute quality. What we use is what? Competitive. We are competitively priced, right? Our price is more, a little bit, right? Cheaper than this person, so we are competitive. But we don't say absolute, if you cannot provide real value to individuals, then you can never maintain a relationship with them in a business sense. They will always run away. So think about it like this, okay? Let's say that you buy skincare. Let's say you, you used seven, how much was your sun cream that you said you used to use? You said 10 times more expensive, right? So let's say that your sun cream is close to, let's say, mm, 700 ringgit, okay? And I come to you with a super sun cream, super sun cream, right? That is 750, okay? More expensive than what you're using, okay? When your sun cream runs out, this is, this is the psychology of what people think, okay? If you use a product at an excellent number of price and somebody brings you a product that is more expensive, then you start to analyze the product, before, you never analyze the product. You just use it because you chose the product. Nothing to analyze. But if somebody comes to you with a more expensive product and you buy it, then you start to analyze if it's good or not because next time you want to, you want to know if you need to buy it. If it's not good, then you will not buy it again. You have to make an excuse, right? If your friend comes to you to sell you a product that is more expensive, you say, oh, next time I don't want to use it, right? But... If they come to you with a cheaper product, then what happens? Then you still examine it, but if it's as good, it doesn't have to be better. But if it's as good as what you used to use, you just save money. So next time, what are you going to use? The cheaper product. But on top of that, if the quality is even better, then you are a forever user. 
Only with this kind of business you can build passive and residual income. Without it, it's impossible. Are you following me? So let's think about what this means and how this works. When I started Atomy, I did not know anything about toiletry, about skincare, nothing, right? I'm sure a lot of guys can sympathize with me. For me, when I lived in the dorms with my friends, we washed our hair head to toe with bar soap, right? No? If we are lucky, we have shampoo. And with shampoo, we, we wash from head to toe. Why do you need body shampoo? I didn't know why. I thought it was a sales gimmick. That's how guys think, right? So before meeting Anime, I didn't understand anything, okay? But I wanted to learn some Korean. I wanted to learn the culture, so I moved to Korea, okay? I moved to Korea, and I met the one and only beautiful Jung Nari, right? My wife. <laughs> and when we got married, my wife told me she needed something called a deep cleanser. I didn't, I didn't know what a deep cleanser was, okay? What did I tell you? Head to toe, bar of soap. That's, that's me. But she said she needed a deep cleanser. I said, I thought it was soap, a different name, right? So I said, okay, you can buy it. But we didn't go to the regular market. She went to the mall, the department. So I said, why is she going to the mall to buy soap? And then she went to the cosmetic section, and then she went to the first store, okay? She went to the first store, and she bought, I mean, she didn't buy. She tested out the products, and they told me that it was $70, $70 for deep cleanser. I was very, very shocked. Why? Soap is maximum $3. Right? Seven, I said, honey, I think we should go to the next store to see if they have something better, right? <laughs> so what's better? Cheaper, right? So we went to the next store, and we went to the next shop over, $90. <laughs> I said to myself, oh, no, I should have just bought at store A. But I, I told my wife, and she said, but listen, honey, now I want to go to the store that I was originally planning on going. I so, told no, right? So I followed her to store C. That's where she wanted to buy the product. And they sampled it and used it and everything. And then I, I was only curious about the price, right? It was $110. <laughs> Inside, I'm crying because I promised her I'll buy it, right? But on the outside, I said, oh, $110, okay. <laughs> you know? So I bought it for her. And when she started using the product at home, I started to watch every night when she was using it. Because I didn't understand, how can deep cleansing be so expensive? But skincare, I understand, right? Because why? Skincare, you apply in the morning, and it keeps you moisturized, it de-ages, gets rid of everything, does lots of work, right? Skincare is busy all day helping you. But when I saw Deep Cleanser, he was not busy. He only stays on your face for 30 seconds. <laughs> but it's $110. So I was so shocked. So every night I watched my wife. Before she went into the restroom, her eyes were clear, beautiful. But when she came out of the restroom, they were red. And I said, why? How can a $110 product create such... Um, such red eyes. And I watched, right? So she goes to the restroom. She turns the water on, looks in the mirror, puts some water on the face. And then what does she do? One dollar, two dollar, three dollar. She's <laughs> pumping. <laughs> and then she's washing her face, washing her mascara, washing everything off and look in the mirror again. Oh no, it's not gone. So what? Four dollars, five dollars. <laughs> and after she rinses everything off, she comes into the room and I asked her, I said, honey, why is your eye so red? She said, because the mascara is so hard to get off. I said, oh, really? <laughs> but that's $110. <laughs> so two weeks later, after I've been watching her for two weeks, we had to go to my mother-in-law's. And we went to my mother-in-law. She forgot to bring her deep cleanser. Thank you, Jesus, right? <laughs> because she didn't bring it. So all she can use now was what was available at the house. 
So I, again, I watched her go into the restroom, and when she came out, I was shocked. Why? Because her eyes were still clear and not bloodshot. <gasps> so I said, honey, what did you use? And she came from the restroom with a white bottle. Very, in my opinion, it was not very pretty, right? Just a cheap white bottle with one big written on it with permanent marker. Why? Evening four, one, two, three, four steps, <laughs> right? With one on it. And I said, this is what you use? She said, yes. I said, wow. She told me first. She said, it's two times better than what I'm using. I said, really? And I left. <laughs> Why? If it's two times better, then it may be $220. <laughs> I didn't want to ask her, right? But she looked at the price online, and the price was at the time 14,801. It was 10 times cheaper than what she was using. So really, I asked her, I said, sincerely, honey, please use this for the rest of your life. <laughs> so what happened right there? Atomy products can change consumer habit because they are so reasonably priced and absolute quality, okay? That's why this business works. If you understand business, it's very simple. You sell a service or a product to consumers. That is the end of business, right? Business is not complicated. So the question is, is my business going to create many consumers who will regularly use it because they see value in using the product? If the answer is no, you should not do the business because it is inevitable that one day, 10 years from now, that your doors will close. But if the answer is yes, even if it takes 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, you must continue to do this business because it will create passive income that can be what? In Atomy, given to the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. So is this business something that you should be doing or something that you should be questioning? This is a business that you must do because logically speaking, there's no reason not to do it. But a lot of people ask me this. They say, listen, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't have a network. I've never done the business. I don't know how to do anything. How can somebody like me become successful in this? Have you asked that question before? Yes, right? So for me, it's, it was the same thing. When I first started the business, I had no network marketing experience, same as you. I started my business in Korea, but I was a foreigner in Korea. I look like I'm Korean, right? But I have an alien residence card in Korea because I'm a foreigner. So I had no network in Korea. But how can somebody with no network, no network marketing ability, still become a Royal Leaders Club member? Because Atomy provide you with everything because there's a difference between ability and effort every single business that we've been a part of until now it takes what ability if you don't have the ability and skills to become successful your efforts become useless but in Atomy, your efforts bring you success so let's talk about that so in the very bottom you see what it says it says amazing quality great prices you should give it a try Okay, so everybody follow me. Ready? Amazing quality, great prices. You should give it a try. Ready? One more time. Ready, set, go. Amazing quality, great prices. You should give it a try. Very easy, right? You can repeat and say it takes only effort. So let me tell you the difference between effort and ability. Say the same thing. Amazing quality, great prices. You should give it a try in Korean. Okay, ready, set, go. Why? Try harder. Ready, set, go. <laughs> oh, you see? You cannot say it in Korean because you don't have Korean language ability. So in network marketing, if you don't have networking ability, if you don't have selling ability, if you don't have this ability, this ability, even if the compensation plan says they'll give you 100%, you cannot get it. 
because you do not have the ability to get that commission. So it's just a dream. It's just hope. But anatomy is very different. If you have the ability to say what I just told you in your own language to your own people, business done. This is why anatomy works. Because it follows a natural process. You have to work with the river. If the river water is flowing down, is it easier to flow down river or up river? What? <laughs> it's easier to flow down the river. It's very difficult to swim up river. But every single business until now was the feeling of swimming up river. Do you agree? If you have been a part of another MLM before, I'm sure you agree with what I'm saying. Because starting the business is difficult. Selling the product is difficult. Because we are not able to give true value to the consumers. But once you can solve that problem, you have just created an opportunity of success for you and your partners and your loved ones. This is why this works. Because it is not about ability, it is about effort. So let's, let's all agree, okay? So I'll talk to you about the process of making consumers. Like an auto sales master, right? So process one, two, three, four, five, okay? So one, it is 100% you who starts the business. So you start the business because you like the product. That should always be number one. I started this business because my wife was using a $110 deep cleanser. But when I saw her using Atomy, I saw the results were better and my wallet remained full. <laughs> and that's why I used it. That was with one product. Imagine her skincare. Her skincare was even more expensive. But when she used Atomy for the first time, honestly, she didn't know. She was using her high quality skincare and she used it. And when it ran out, I gave her the morning six. She used the morning six and she said, I don't know if it's any good. And she bought her old product again. Okay. And when she used her old product for three days, she realized how good morning six was. And then she threw that one away and then came back to morning six. But now after using morning six, now she's using Absolute. <laughs> now after using Absolute, she continues to use both now. But Absolute, once you use it, you'll understand why everybody is raving about it. The price and quality is unmatchable. Okay? So you have to start with product. So once you're starting the business, it works because this works. Okay? You are in control of making consumers, and your business is dependent on consumers. I didn't say business partners, right? I said consumers, okay? So 100%, it's your responsibility to make consumers, okay? But these consumers follow a downriver process. You don't have to force them up the river because once they consume a product, they are first skeptical, so they only buy one, two, maximum, maybe three, and they use it. But once they understand and feel the value that they're getting from the product, they become what? Auto consumers. They call you. You don't have to call them. They call you. They say, listen, my sunscreen, it's low. I need a new one. My toner is getting low. I need to reorder. Oh, I heard you have a new product. Send that one over. They become auto consumers so now you as a business partner you are doing number one 100 this is consumer building model okay you are 100 creating consumers but even in that process if you're only doing 75 percent you still get the same results as 100 percent because they are now doing the rest of the 25 percent are you following me and as they consume these products they start to what get cash back. They start getting PV. They don't even know what PV is in the beginning, right? But they start getting PV. So now 50% of your efforts, but they become part-time partners. So six months down the road, they get their first commission. 
But six months turns into four months, into three months, into two months. And now they're getting repeated cash back because they're not just using one product, but they're using two, three, four, five, 10, 15. They're using many products. And as they're using these products, what happens? They get money in the bank, not just accumulated PV anymore, but they get cash back. So what happens now? They're like, whoa, I received money? When I went to the mall and I bought her skincare and deep cleanser, the mall didn't give me any money. But in Atomy, as we became consumers, as we consumed more products, what happened? I started getting cash back. And with that cash back, what can you do? You can use it to buy more products. So now the products are getting even cheaper and cheaper. And now what happens? This part-time partner, without even knowing, does one, two, and three. They are now building the network with you. Without even knowing, they're talking to their neighbor. They're telling them about their experience. They're telling them, look, I got cash back. You should try it too. Free money. And now this person becomes more diligent because they've been working the same job for five years, but their raise, their income is still pretty much stagnant and the same. But in Atomy, they see, wow, I'm making this money if I invest more time and do this business a little bit more with goals and focusing on building consumers, then maybe I can get paid two times a month, three times a month, 26 times a month. Maybe I can start earning much more than what I've been making at my job. And then they become what? Full-time partners. But anatomy, you can go to zero. Why? Because there is an income ceiling. Anatomy, there is an income ceiling. That means that your partners are not working to make you money, right? My partners are not consuming hemoin because, oh, Ji Young Park today, he needs 100K PV, so let me buy some hemoin for him. Do they do that? No, you're buying the hemoim, you're buying the skincare, you're buying all these products because you need it. And because your partners ordered it. That's it. So once we get to the income ceiling, when we see our partners, and even if I tell my partners, don't do the business anymore, what will they say? They say, are you crazy? You don't do the business. <laughs> I'm making money. So even if we... Don't do any more consumer building. The network itself creates synergy and it's a snowball effect. So there are thousands and thousands of people in your downline consuming just to consume and sharing because they want to build their business. That's why we can say that this is true passive income. In other businesses, we cannot create true passive income. Because the products being sold do not create that kind of environment and value. So if they're not making money, they leave. So let's look at this. Free entry and unlimited opportunities. What does that mean? With this model, we understand now how easy it is to create consumer, a consumer to business environment. You see, right? From one, two, three, four, five, once you reach the three, four, and five, you are not working alone, but you are working with other consumers who now are business partners without even knowing they're business partners. They don't even know. But in other business models, you know you're a business partner because there is an entrance fee. There is a monthly maintenance fee. If you want commission from your downline, you must purchase an X amount every single month to maintain your account to get the commission. But in Atomy, that is not the case. That's why we say it's free entry. And as we talk about free entry, I want to touch on what? Unlimited downline leverage. So the reason that we can all become successful is because our ability is not alone, no, Everybody's abilities and skills become ours. That is the only reason I am here today. That is the only reason these leaders are here today. Sharon Rose leaders, Star Masters, Royal Masters, everybody in this company 
who has a mastership is in that position because, not because they are something great, is because they have true consumers who see value and they're working together to create a bigger picture. Do you agree? That's why this business works. Because as we help our downline, they also get the synergy and duplicate it to help others. So downline, unlimited downline leverage means this, everybody. You register this person. This person registers this person. This person knows this person, but you don't know this person, right? But in other network marketing companies, we have sponsorship, right? Personal sponsorship. So if I sponsor this person, I get 100% of that income. But if I do not, then what happens? Then I don't get it because I didn't do the work. But anatomy, it doesn't matter. Long as they are in your downline, this person registers 1,000 people, let's say when Vietnam opens. Then 100% of the PV goes to everybody because of this person's effort and ability. And you are working together to create this. So your success... In Atomy, as long as you don't quit and you continue to build and work, your success is what? Inevitable. Your success is what? Inevitable. So it is our responsibility to share this knowledge with other partners around us and give them hope. Because I would not be here today if it wasn't for my partners, if it wasn't for the Atomy system. Because one person can only do so much. That's why network marketing is the answer when the products and system align and give value to consumers like Atomy has done. Can we give Atomy a round of applause? This is the reason why it works. And this is the reason why you should become a part of this system. Because anybody can do it. And everybody will become successful as long as they don't quit. The difference is time. Maybe it will take you one year, two years, three years, ten years. But does that matter? No. Time doesn't matter. As long as you're building the group and as long as you're part of this system and as long as you're giving value to individuals, there's nothing you should be afraid of. So let me tell you a little bit about how I started the business. The desires and goals have to be real. When I was growing up, my parents, they worked really hard. And they, they lived from paycheck to paycheck at times, right? And I saw them working really hard. And my mom used to tell me, Jew, you can do anything. You can do anything you put your mind to. And she would always tell me, I'm happy. Everything's great. There's no problem. And that's what I believed. I didn't know any better. I just saw the strong side of my mom. And my mom would work three to four jobs all the time to provide. And one day, she came home. She would always come home after midnight, two o'clock maybe. And I would be sleeping. If I wanted to see her, I would try to stay awake so I can see her before I went to bed. Because when I woke up, she would be gone already. But this time, I was asleep. And she thought I was sleeping. So I saw her. She was in the next room praying. And I listened to her praying. And I listened and I listened. And she was crying. She said, Lord, help me. It's so difficult. Lord, help me. Why isn't our life getting any better? And she was just crying. And as she was praying, I heard the prayer. And I thought, wow. If my mom's having that difficult of time, then I need to do everything that I can to try to help her. And that's when I had a goal and desire to become successful. Because I saw my surrounding and I said, for my family, I want to provide them with a better life. But there's nothing that I can depend on. And there's nothing that I should depend on because I should create it. And that was my goal, to create a better life for my family, for my wife, for my kids. But my struggle was not being able to find the tool to get to that place. So everybody here today, I'm sure you have a dream and I'm sure you have a passion. I'm sure you want to create an environment for your loved ones, success for your loved ones, for, your, for yourself. 
but you didn't know how to do it. I'm telling you today to choose Atomy. Let Atomy be your insurance plan. Let Atomy be your tool to bring about success for everybody around you. Choose Atomy today because there is nothing to lose. It costs you nothing to register. There is no maintenance fee. The value that it gives, you can see it with data and on paper. We're not lying about the quality. We don't trick you with the price. Everything is transparent. All the leaders buy the product at the same price as you buy it. Leaders don't get a discount. Atomy is just now starting, and we are in 10 different countries, including Malaysia, and we're going to be all over the world. So is it too late to start? No, it's just now beginning. So I hope that everybody here today chooses to do Atomy, chooses to make a better future for yourselves. And I hope that we all meet at the top. Don't give up. Keep pushing. And before I leave, I want to leave you with just two different things, okay? For our leaders, for our partners, this is a bonus, okay? What kind of partner do you want? Let's think about it in our heads. You want a partner who comes to all the seminars, yes? You want a partner who's good at registering people, yes? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay? You want a partner who can sell a lot of products, yes? You want a partner who listens to you well, yes? Okay, so you need to first be that partner. And then you will get partners like that. This business is about trust and transparency. You build trust by sharing yourself with other individuals and not changing from A to B to C to D every time. That's what Atomy has shown us. Atomy, once they launch, they keep their promise and they provide everything by building trust. Without trust, we are nothing. So I hope that we all stay true to the Atomy motto and we cherish everybody and we serve in humility. And I hope that we all meet at the top. Thank you very much.